Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason and I'm your watch guy today. Today I have another micro brand in. It's becoming a bit of a theme this, isn't it? I have micro brands on a Monday. Wonder what I could call that. I don't want to get copyrighted, do we? No. This offering this week is from the Swiss watch company over in the United States of America. They offer really, really quality pieces. And I've actually followed them for a good while on their social media, their YouTube page. If you haven't seen their YouTube page, go and check it out because it, it's brilliant. It gives you a real insight into a small watch company or a watch micro brand, if you will. And they have a really interesting background, which I'll get into in the video. So before I start that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, I have a little thank you to James of Honest Watch Reviews here. Uh, he set me up with these guys and I'm very grateful because I have been trying to get one of their watches in for so, so long now. Also, thank you to Swiss Watch Co for letting me review their watch. I'm a massive fan of what they're doing at the moment and I think they're offering brilliant pieces for a really, really solid price range. So guys, with that all out of the way, let's turn this camera around and let's get into this review. So this is the sports model from the Swiss Watch Company. Now they are a, an American based company, which you know, the, it, that could be misleading to the, uh, the actual brand name, but I'll get onto that. They were founded in 96 by Stephen Roma. It's a family led business, family operated business. And if you head over to their YouTube page, you can see that it's actually quite interesting to see how they operate. I find it interesting anyway, so I will link their page in the, uh, the description. They started making watches for the armed forces and first responders, and they produced them up to 2008. They also handle manufacturing for other brands, which is kind of interesting. But their goal was always to manufacture their own line of watches and they started that in 2018 when they released their SWC Diver. I think they have four different lines. This is their sport line. This one comes in a automatic or a quartz movement. And today we have the automatic DLC black version with us. So let's get into this review, shall we? So first of all, this is the packaging that I received with the watch. So this is probably what you can expect yourself. Nice little carry case. I like it when this type of stuff's like functional instead. We also have a, a Velcro strap, which I found really interesting. I'll actually fit that to it and show you what it's like later in the video. So as you probably know by now, I like to start my reviews with the dimensions of the watch. This one, really, really wearable. Very nice case size and very well built. It's 41.2 millimeters in diameter. That's what I added in there. It is 12.25 millimeters thick, 46.8 millimeters lug to lug. Very compact and very wearable lug size. And the lugs are actually 22 millimeters, which is on the, the larger end, but you will find plenty of straps to fit that. Now, as I said, this comes in an automatic or the quartz movement. This one here is the automatic fitted with an SW200 movement, which is a Swiss movement. And it's actually a good grade movement. It's a Sleater 28,800 beats per hour movement, 26 joules, plus 12 to minus 30 seconds per day. And usually they come in quite uh, accurately. You'll find variants of these in plenty of higher end watches. For example, the Audis Aquas before they changed up to their in-house movements and some of the Tag Heuer Caliber 5s are based from a SW200 movement. Now there are going to be some changes to the watch itself as this is a prototype. I'm not sure if they got through their pre-orders now or if it's still pre-order based but I know it's available at $480 at the moment uh, on their website linked below. So some of the changes. This here Swiss made logo is slightly misaligned, so that will be properly aligned in the, the production version. The ceramic dial section is only 90 to 95 percent the quality of what you will expect in the actual production version. It does say in their little pamphlet that you may or may not notice that, but I guess it's it's better for them to, to make a better quality piece anyway. 
The loom will be better in the production versions, as is often found with prototypes. It's just how it works. Obviously, this is just a representation of what they will uh, put out. The buckle here will be slightly smaller, and I think that's a good change. I do actually quite like the clasp, but uh, yeah, they could do with building it slightly smaller, slightly differently. So, with all that out of the way, let's get into this, this review, this watch. The watch pulls off a very stealth yet sport-like vibe to me and it, it's very well done. I was very impressed when I saw these coming out. I actually tried to get hold of one of these for a little bit of a time. Uh, thankfully enough, James over at uh, Honest Watch Reviews is quite local to me and he gave me a little reference to the, to the brand so I could get this in. So again, thanks James. It has a really good weight to the watch and that was what I was actually quite surprised about because I thought from the images and from the videos that I'd seen it looked like it would, it'd be quite lightweight especially with this uh, rubber strap fitted to it but it's actually quite heavy and it, it's well built, it feels well built. The casing is built with 316L stainless steel and it's coated in a DLC which if you don't know it's a diamond like coating it's scratch resistant it's chip resistant all that type of good stuff and it gives this really nice black stealth type of vibe to it it's available in plenty of different colorways also i'll insert some pictures here for you uh, my personal favorite is the green and dlc it absolutely looks gorgeous i'd love to add one of them to my collection the coating of this watch gives a really nice flat matte black type of look which, as I say, adds to that really stealth vibe of the watch. We have a fixed matte black bezel also on this one. A screw down crown with good levels of grip. Just pull this out. Uh, one thing to mention, it does have a ghost position. I mean, it doesn't really affect the watch itself, but just something to mention. It does feel really well fitted, the crown to this one good level of action and a good level of movement as well as that it is also signed with the swc logo which is nice to see that's a nice piece of quality this really does have some short lugs which plays to that short lug to lug size that wearability they have some really nice chamfered edges the lugs actually really just flow into the case. It's not like they're a main feature of the watch, but they do flow really nicely with the design of the watch. What they've done really well here is take a lot of emphasis away from the case itself. It's a lovely casing, really well built. Actually reminds me quite a lot of a Formula One case, a Tag Heuer Formula One case, especially with the feel of it. And obviously that makes sense with the sports vibe of the watch. But what they've done is put a lot of emphasis into the dial itself, into the watch's main features, and I think that's really clever. I think they've made a feature of the dial instead of the casing, and I'm a big fan of that. So, let me carry on. This has also got a screw-down case back. As I hope you can see there, it has the same type of effect as the center of the dial, that brick layer effect. It also has some information around the edge of the case back. The water resistance, sapphire crystal, Swiss made, all stainless steel. Now, as I say, the company is out of America. That's where they, they are based, but it is a Swiss made watch. And the founder of the company, Stephen Roma, is actually Swiss. So that's where the link comes in. And I'm not sure everyone's got that. I've seen a few comments on a few Reddit posts about how is this an American made watch with Swiss watch company is the name it's confusing well it's not if you just look into the actual brand itself finishing off this casing we have a really nice sapphire crystal this sapphire crystal actually has six layers of ar coating and as you can see there really nice quality sapphire crystal built into this one the case itself provides this watch with 100 meters of water resistance which i think is perfectly suitable for a sports watch that's exactly what you'd expect so the real feature of this to me is the dial of this watch. Now, the indices are a little bit weird as you can probably see. To me, they looked sort of alien in design. 
until it was explained to me that they're based on the headlights of modern day cars, which I rarely do get. You know, the headlights that you'd see on an Audi, a Volkswagen Golf, that type of stuff. And I rarely actually like the indices on this. I think they're a lovely design. And Swiss watch company have obviously gone in a really original direction with this watch, which is nice to see on today's market. They've done something that I've never seen before. So props to them. At the 9 and 3 indices, we have batons. And at the rest of the indices, we have these much smaller pointed baton indices. These indices are all loomed. I will show you the loom shot at the end of this section. We have a really lovely brick layer type of design in the center of the watch, which I was really a big fan of. I think, again, that's really original, and I like to see that it's flown from there to the back of the, the watch case back. Really keeps the design together. Up at the 12 o'clock, we have the Swiss Watch Company logo applied there in a high polish. So as you can see, this dial is built in two sections. We have this brick layer section in the center and on a higher step, which gives this sort of a chasm type of feel to the dial. We have another gray layer, really nice colors on this. And this is actually a ceramic section. Now that's a material that you don't often see in a dial. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen it in the dial. So again, something very original from Swiss Watch Company using really quality material in their dials as well as in the rest of their watch. Really nice to see. Now around the edge of this ceramic section, we have the Minitrack, which is, again, very different. It's in a triangular fashion. And finishing off the dial just above the six o'clock, we have the Swiss made print. That is where the money's at, isn't it? That's Swiss made. I say that, but for this type of money, it's really worth it, this watch, I think, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. With an SW200 movement, this level of build quality, I think this is well worth the $480. In fact, I expected a lot less for that type of price. So again, very well done to Swiss Watch Company. Obviously offering really good value for their watches. We have a Dauphine-style handset on this watch. It is in a high-polish finish, and it does have centers of loom. The second hand is a pencil style second hand, which sweeps to the edge of the dial. Speaking of which, this minute hand also sweeps to the edge of the dial to that uh, minute track. And the hour hand is actually shortened, a shorter style, to fit onto the inner section of the watch. Again, that's a very small thing to a lot of people, but that shows how much thought has gone into this watch and how much they've thought out the, the design of this watch. And that's nice to see. It's nice to see how much effort has gone into this watch. Now, as mentioned, we will put in the loom shot just here and show you that really nice loom. Again, a really original loom signature on this one. You will not see this type of thing again, I don't think. Again, as mentioned, the loom will be better on the production models, but if this is anything to go by for a sports watch, I'm, I'm quite happy with the levels of loom in this one. Now, moving on into the rubber band on this watch. Now, rubber bands aren't for everyone, I understand that, but this one's actually really good quality. So we have this insert here, which is definitely different to see on a watch. That is their logo on a stainless steel high polish insert, a little pip on this rubber band we also have these vents which are really nice in design also i imagine that they're quite functional in the summer keeping your wrist nice and cool we have a milled deployant clasp on this one it is double pushers and signed on the the buckle brushed in nature really high quality feel to the band on this one i was actually really pleasantly surprised it's obviously not a cheap rubber band and they do have good levels of adjustment on it. So this is where I found mine at. And actually you can definitely get a much smaller fit on it. So even if your wrists are smaller than mine. And we obviously have a higher end on it too. I think this will fit plenty of wrist sizes. Now first of all let me show you this on my 6.2 inch wrists. And then I'll swap the band out and show you that Velcro strap. As I've said, really comfortable watch, 
fits very easily to my 6.2 inch wrists and it really does remind me of my Tag Heuer Formula 1. It fits really nicely, short lug to lug, really sports type of feel to it and obviously our $480 it comes in a hell of a lot cheaper than my Tag Heuer's so very well done to Swiss Watch Company to get this type of feel into a watch that's actually a, a bit of a bargain in my mind. Now I'm just going to swap this onto the other strap for you and show you the versatility of this watch. Here it is on the Velcro strap that Swiss Watch Company have provided. I believe you get one of these with the actual watch when you uh, when you order it. You know what? I'm going to be dead honest with you. This is the first time that I've tried this one on and wow. Yeah, I, I'm actually really impressed by that strap, especially considering that it's free. I wonder if they're going to sell these separately. I'd, I'd like to get one of these. Another thing that I didn't really mention on this rubber strap is how nicely it fits into the lugs. It really does add to the design of the watch when you've got it on that one. I feel like it really does add to the stealth type of vibe too with it flowing so nicely into that black rubber band. So I'm sure you're eager to know guys, what are the downsides of this watch? Well, let me get it off my wrist and I will talk you through that. So let's talk about the obvious guys. Not everyone's going to like this design. Personally, I absolutely love it, but I know that it's going to divide opinions quite a little bit. The brick layer in the center, love that. Brick layer on the back, I love that. See, I'm a really big fan of this design. However, I know some people will think it's a little too much. Maybe it's a bit too alien for them. I expect this one to divide people a little bit. Now, the only real downside that I do have to this watch is that ghost date position. Uh, it's, it's not going to affect you much. It just means that they've got the date variants of the movements in this watch instead of the non-date variants. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Personally, I think the pricing is quite accurate for what you get in here. $480.00. You're getting a SW200 movement, DLC coated, really originally designed Swiss made watch. So yeah, I think it, it's a good price. It's a very good price. And if you're into the design of the watch, if you're into those indices, I think it's, it's a goer. Uh, as I said, I really do like the green variant of it and I may actually pick one up for myself in the near future. Hopefully anyway. So guys, that has been my review of Swiss Watch Company's Sports Watch. As I say, this is the automatic version. You can pick it up in quartz. But personally, I'd go for the SW200, especially for $480. I think that's a good price. I Personally, I think they've priced it cheaper than they could have, in my opinion. As I mentioned, this is a family-run brand, which in today's modern society, I think that's a special thing also. Uh, definitely go and check out their YouTube page. I've mentioned it like three times now, I know, but definitely worth it. I found it so interesting in how they run the business, design the watches, and listening to their, their dad talk, I think it's Stephen. Yeah, brilliant insight into watchmaking and a watch brand's insight into the market too. I, yeah, I think it's brilliant. I really do like what they're doing with the company. I, I, I genuinely... Personally, I'm a genuine fan of them, so it's been a real pleasure to have this in, and hopefully I'll be able to show you guys some more of their watches soon, hopefully. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I really do appreciate it. I would appreciate it even more if you go down into that subscription box there and just click it. Thank you. I will see you in the next one.